reason I did that is it occurred to me that we cannot find any precedent for what is going on now in our lifetime. You can't go back to Reagan. And a lot of conservatives are confused because they're sort of pining for that gentlemanly discourse of the Reagan era. But I think we have to go all the way back to 1860. Think about it. An, an outsider, a Republican, uh, comes in out of nowhere, wins a close election, and all hell breaks loose. Uh, and the Northern Democrats are also uh, going berserk. Some of them are calling for Lincoln to be assassinated, which happens later. The Southern Democrats are so unwilling to live with the Lincoln presidency, they're ready to break up the country. So all this craziness is going on around Lincoln. Uh, and by the way, the, the rhinos, the Republicans of Lincoln's day, are coming running to Lincoln and saying, you've got to make a deal with the South. You've got to give up the mandate of the election. You've got to agree to these compromises. So it's an eerily similar parallel to what's going on now. And quite frankly, it's the same party, the Democratic Party, that is the root of the, that's the culprits here. And all of this, all these accusations of racism, fascism, all this manipulation of the legal process, all aimed at achieving what the Democrats